up y'all this is my 2015 Tahoe and today I'm replacing the front struts uh, it's got 77,000 miles on it and it rides like a lowered Civic with cut springs because the mag ride shocks are leaking and just destroyed it looks like a pretty straightforward uh, process on it pull these struts out I have um, some replacement struts that are not GM they are from uh, Luftmeister they are a mag ride direct replacement, they say, so we'll see how that goes. But um, they were less than half the price of the original mag ride. These mag ride shocks uh, retail for about $600 a shock. I paid $530 for the pair of Luffmeisters, so um, let's see how they go. The uh, auto bolts appear to be a 15. There's two of those. I'll take those off first. Um, tops look like a Probably also a 15. I think I gotta pull the fender liner out in order to get those off. Hate torque spits. Oh. Hate torque spits. Somebody please explain to me what the obsession with torque spits are. Like, they're always the worst. Fender liner looks like it's gonna have uh, four torque spits screws. Torx spit screws. Seven torx spit screws. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve torx spit screws. Impact guns like a friend. Oh, GM. Oh, those are 10 mil. Look what I found. There's a uh, rag. A fender liner. Now I've got good access to all the strut stuff. I don't have like a shop manual or anything on this, so I'm not sure the correct process. I'm just kind of guessing from my own experience. I may end up having to drop, take these um, upper A-arm bolts out in order to swing it down. I didn't really want to. Maybe the uh, sway bar. So the, uh, those of you who don't know, the sway bar connects the two sides together so they uh, support each other independently. Now with it loose, it's, the bolt's still on there, it's just all the way to the top of it. I can push this down with my hand, and hopefully the strut drops out without drop, dropping on the ground. Ah, there we go. It's heavy, heavier than I thought. And there it is. So here's the OEM uh, mag ride strut assembly. You can just see the grease and I'm gonna look at my hands just from like holding it. I mean, this thing's just covered in grease. And um, it didn't move at all. Like I was surprised how uh, rough the ride got when this thing went out. It's been kind of getting that way for the last 10,000 miles. I thought it's cause I needed tires. We put fresh tires on it. It was like, nope, it still rides like a Civic. I'm going to go to the other side, get that side all off, and then I'm going to take these things up to my buddy's shop because he's got a nice, uh, like, real spring compressor and uh, pop the tops off them and change them out. Much, much later. So the driver's side came out the exact same process as the passenger side. Um, nothing different at all. Same bolts, same technique and all that stuff. You can see how bad this one is. I mean, let me see if I can zoom in on this and see, show you guys. I mean, these things, like I said, this thing's got like 70,000 miles on it, and uh, wow, they are host that's definitely my problem that's definitely why things riding bad so uh now we can see if we can change them well i kind of got myself in a pickle here um so this is the tahoe which is no suspension on it and uh that's the rusty z on a trailer and uh my wife has my truck because this is normally her daily the tahoe so there's the gto and the s2000 everything's blocked in right now so all i have is a motorcycle and uh, I need to figure this out. Problem solved. Uh, my nephew lives with me and I borrowed his Civic, which um, has a scrotum on the keychain. Yeah. So I made it to uh, Dynasty Auto and I'm going to uh, change these springs over. Here's the old struts. 
You see how greasy they are. I mean, this is just, just like, ugh. So uh, these are going in the garbage. New struts are on, and I head back and bolt them in back in the truck. Okay, we're back at the house, and I've got the shocks back with me. The dogs are here. Uh, so it should just be the exact opposite of taking it out and put it back in. We're losing daylight, so sorry if this gets a little dark. I'll try to light it up as best as I can. My only concern I have is I did, is clocking the uh, strut correctly. So that might get interesting because uh, I didn't really like pay attention to that. It should just be able to spin in there, but I think if I mount the top of it first, I'll be able to slide the bottom in, but we'll see. Mm. Also, reassembly beer. Very useful. It's going to be really important to get this wire lined up and through the hole. That way I don't pinch the wire. It's one of my big concerns is breaking the wire off this thing because I'm sure it won't like that if I do it. If you look, the bottom of my strut right here is not in the correct orientation. So what I need to do is twist this and get this on the you know correct plane so it can bolt in there. So I was able to adjust this, to turn the strut a little bit and get the way I needed it to. Now I can let this A arm down. Your time. Got the strut all in and tightened up. Everything should be good to go. I'm not gonna show you guys putting the fender liner back in because it's just like the same way that it came out. Just pops in there and put some screws in. We go to the passenger side and then we're gonna take this thing for a test drive and see how it goes. Fingers crossed. Well, I'm all done. It's like 7.15, so it's nice and dark outside. The whole job took about two hours, not counting the time of me driving up and uh, changing over the, sh the springs from Cheese Shop. So, uh, not too bad of a job. I fired it up, and there's no lights on, no check engine, no, or no uh, check suspension stuff or anything like that, so that's good. Get ready to take it for a drive, and uh, hopefully you guys can see, because it's pretty dark outside. already tell how well this thing rides that's just the front shocks um, I probably need to do the rears it's another 500 bucks the rears that's why I haven't done it yet I don't know if anybody has driven one of these mag ride Tahoes which if you're watching this video you probably have but this thing like, when the suspensions ride on it man this thing rides so nice especially compared to my truck I have it at 2500 HD that I daily and this thing just soaks the bumps up. Well, it did until the shocks went out. When the shocks went out, it just ruined everything. I'm not joking. I've ridden in cars with cut springs that rode better than this thing when it needed shocks. Yeah, this thing rides sweet. Big bump here. Yeah, about what you'd expect from something like this. So I'm gonna call this one a wrap and uh, make sure to check out the links for the shocks below. Hit that subscribe button while you're down there. Maybe that bell to get notifications on all my videos. Got a lot of cool stuff coming up, so check all that out. I'll see you guys next time.